everyone and i welcome you all to my channel if this is the first time of you coming to my channel thanks a lot and you're highly welcome so for today i'm going to be making a simple video on how to cut a line gown some people call it a shape gown okay so with me here i have a gift i have a gift from one of you out there so i really want i just want to unbox this gift and use it for the video okay so this gift came from queenie's house of fashion thanks a lot and i really appreciate it okay so as many of you that also want to do the same thing or also want to get in touch with me please oh uh, you have my contact down below at the description but you could just drop a message and you can also email me we are free and we are ready to future your product future your brand and future what you do also so um this came from queenie's house of fashion once again queenie's house of fashion thanks a lot and i really appreciate your gift so i'm going to just bring it out wow wow this is beautiful i'm going to um drop a description down below at the comment section in case you really want to get beautiful fabrics like this wow this is really beautiful kinis as a fashion thanks a lot and i really appreciate this gift okay so i'm going to make use of this gift to cut simple a-shape gown i'm going to make use of this um gift to cut simple a-shape gown so don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like share and subscribe okay Wow, this fabric is beautiful. <laughs> wow, this fabric is beautiful. Thanks a lot and I really do appreciate it. Yeah, so I'm just going to fold the fabric. So now, let's just calculate our basic measurements. So the basic measurements required for an A-line gown, we have our shoulder, bust measurements, waist, hip, and our gown length. Now, let me just um, explain what an A-line gown actually looks like. It comes like this. Like, it gives you the shape letter A. So, our shoulder measurement divided by 2, we have 9 inches. Plus, half inches for the sleep joining, we have 9 and half inches. Our bust divided by 4, because the fabric is folded into 4, we have 13. Plus, 2 inches sewing allowance, we have 15. Our waist divided by 4, 12 and half, plus 2 inches sewing allowance, we have 14 and half. My hip measurement divided by 4, I have 13, plus 2 inches, I have 15. So the gown length plus 2 inches for the folding allowance, we have 62 inches. This fabric is very beautiful. <laughs> so now let's move to the fabric. So what I did was I folded the fabric into four and I'm going to take my shoulder measurements. So my shoulder measurements is nine inches. Now for an A-line gown, you can, you can make yours to have a zip if you want and you can make yours not to have a zip. It depends on what you, you actually want. So you just take our shoulder measurement that is nine and a half inches. I'm going to mark my nine and a half inches. So for the arm O, I have ten inches. I'm going to mark the ten inches. So for the bust measurement, our bust measurement is fifteen inches. So the distance from the bust to the waist is nine inches. Our waist measurement is fourteen and a half inches. So the distance from the waist to the hip is nine inches so our hip measurement is 15 inches i hope i'm not too fast your shoulder measurement your arm o, your waist and your hip measurement so connect the lines together so i'm going to draw my arm o. i'm going to draw my arm o. it's very simple so now let me mark the neckline so the neckline i'm going to make is of three and a half inches by six inches so round neckline don't forget to always take your one inch shoulder slant 
yeah so now what makes this an a-line gown is it is always free from the hip don't forget this is where we have the hip it is always free from the hip it gives you that shape letter a so the amount of fabric you are working with will determine how many inches you want to add to it so this is our exact um hip measurement so because it's an a-line gown i'm going to make use of extra four inches this is the normal um hip measurement but because it's an a-line gown it should be free towards the hip so i'm just going to connect it like this gently did you see what i did here this is our basic hip measurement but because it's an a-line gown i said it's always free at the hip. So that gives it the a-shape you can see it we already have this a shape so this is your exact hip measurement it depends on how free you want it to be and the number of inches you want to add to it so for me i'm just going to be adding it gradually because you don't want it to come out too puffy so it depends on how many inches so at this hip point i have about four inches four inches for the a shape okay so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to draw this um okay so let's take it down all the way to the gown length all the way to where we have the gown length so if you haven't subscribed to my channel please kindly do so don't forget to give this video a like subscribe and share your comment so once again what i'm just going to do now is i'm going to cut this out and show you guys what it actually looks like so this is what we have this is the front panel and this is the back panel so i'm just going to show you guys you can see this shape look at the bust measurements look at the waist measurements then you see the way it came up giving it this a line shape all the way down to the gown length so once again i really want to say thanks to queenie's house of fashion and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like, share, and subscribe. If you also want us to feature your product, your fashion house, or you also want to give us fabric to work with and to shout out to you, put that down below at the comment section. I have my numbers and my email down below. Simply drop your message or you could actually chat us up. So once again, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. Bye.